Hi everyone, I'm Miss Sarah from the Woodcock Nature Center and I'm here with you today to talk about nature through time and we're going to be taking a closer look at stone walls. If you live in New York or Connecticut, you might see a lot of stone walls in the forests around you. Actually, in Connecticut alone, there are 25,000 miles of stone walls. That's enough to go around the earth once if we took them all and lined them up back to back. So how did these stone walls get here and who built them? These stone walls are actually older than the forest. In the early 16 and 1700s, the first farmers that came to New England needed to grow crops. So they had to clear the land and plant their seeds. And every time they tilled the soil, they would hit rocks. So they started to pull those rocks out. And at first they made piles just to get the rocks out of the ground. But eventually they started stringing the rocks together and making long stone walls. These stone walls actually helped them. They divided the crops into different areas. They kept livestock like sheep safe from wolves. And they also created early property boundaries. You can actually look at something growing on these rocks and figure out how long ago these stone walls were built. So we're gonna look at this gray circle. This is called lichen. Lichen are these scaly gray circles on these rocks. And they can be gray, green, blue, but they're different than plants. So this is moss, it's a plant. And if you look close, you can see that it has stems and roots. Lichen is a complex life form. It's actually two things growing together, a fungus and an algae. So the fungus creates the structure and the algae growing on inside it creates food for the fungus and they grow together. Lichen grow in circles. So here we have one, two, three, four different kinds of lichens. Sometimes you'll see a blob of lichen, and this is not one giant one, but a bunch of little ones growing together. So when you're looking at stone walls, you wanna find perfect circle lichens, and we're gonna measure them. So here's a perfect circle lichen, and to measure it, we'll need a centimeter ruler. So lichens grow very, very slowly. It takes a lichen 10 years to grow one centimeter, that much. So we're going to take our ruler and put it in the middle of the circle to the edge. We're measuring the radius. So that's three centimeters. And since it takes 10 years to grow just one centimeter, we're gonna multiply this number by 10. So three times 10 is 30. So this lichen is 30 years old. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look for the oldest lichens, the biggest lichens on this wall. And that, those biggest lichens, once we get their age, will tell us how old this stone wall is, how long ago it was built. So here's a bigger lichen that we'll measure with the centimeter side of our ruler. We're gonna measure the radius, the middle to the edge. So this is, I would say nine. So nine times 10 is 90. This lichen is 90 years old. So this rock has been sitting in this spot for 90 years. So if you find a stone wall by you, you can find a centimeter ruler and go out and measure the largest lichens you can find. If you take the average of all of those giant lichens, that's gonna give you how old the stone wall is. So these stone walls are no longer surrounded by farmland. The forest has taken back over. So over time, we started to build cities. Farmers left the, their fields to go work in the cities and plants started to grow up. Seeds blew in, trees started to grow and the forest has taken over the farmland. And actually now stone walls are very important to the forest ecosystem. So animals will use them for shelter, to hibernate like these giant holes here behind me or to find food. So I encourage you to find some stone walls by you and measure them, figure out how old they are, or even just observe them and see what kind of wildlife is using these stone walls around you.